Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I would do something a little different. Um, I saw someone else do this. Emily Price, I saw you do this and I, I really wanted to do it. So um, it was basically uh, her makeup collection. I feel like for someone who hasn't been into makeup for very long, I have a lot of makeup and I thought it would just be kind of interesting to kind of show you guys what I got. And, and yeah, and I'll kind of show you my setup. I did just move, so it's not the greatest. But I do have some things. I do also want to show you guys my jacket that I'm wearing today or my sweater. I got this like forever ago. I totally forgot that I had gotten this. It's from a town called Hell, Michigan. Yes, there's really a place. It's legit. And this shirt says, damn you, damnation university. I just thought it was so funny. Um, but I got this like 10 years ago and I just love it so much and I found it today and so I've just been wearing it. Um, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Here is my setup right now. Oh, hey baby. Uh, so I'm not really sure where to start. And I'm using my iPhone because this is all I got right now. Okay, so I think I'll just start over here. Um, so I have this. Let's move my vitamins out of the way because I gotta remember to take those every day and this is the only place I can keep them. So I have a couple cases of things that help me keep all my stuff organized in here. I really just have miscellaneous things. I got like lip liners, lipsticks that don't um, fit in my lipstick thing, and then backup eyeliner, which that is my favorite eyeliner. Buy it on Amazon. Um, what else? Yeah, it's mostly just lip liners. Um, and then like a liquid eyeshadow that I never use. Um, next, I have my eyebrow um, thing. I have my uh, Anastasia dip brow. I have the It Cosmetics brow pencil that we got in a boxy charm, the brow power in um, Universal Taupe. I got a Wonder pencil by NYX. Uh, a couple sharpeners. I mean, this is like just brows. And then here I have concealer. I have a ton of concealers. I got two different shades of shape tape because why not um I don't even know why that's in there this is like an under eye thing that I hardly ever use uh liquid camouflage by Catrice color pop uh no filter concealer but this color is too dark for me it is in shade what so this is in shade fair neutral and this is like still way too dark for me. I don't know if y'all can tell I am very pale and cool undertoned. I also have Age Rewind. Uh, this is what? LA Girl Pro Conceal and then Photo Focus Wet n Wild Concealer. Sorry if you guys hear me sniffling. My nose is like always running. Okay, anyway, this is like my liquid cream eyeshadows um i just did a review on this the essence metal shock eyeshadow highly recommend that i just don't really care for that particular color um we got our glitter primer because this is where i would apply this i have glitter in here just the nyx gold glitter i have uh six color pop Things I have the Laura Lee X No Kill LA uh, things in here, and then I have a couple uh, other ColourPop ones that I just got. This one, I swear you guys, it's called Frog. So pretty. And then I have I have three of the Supernova shadows by ColourPop. And then I have a metallic lipstick in here. Honestly, I haven't used it very much and I haven't decided if I'm gonna use it on my eyes yet because it does dry kind of satin. I don't know, we'll see. My next drawer is gonna be mascaras. So I have an Essence mascara. I have a tar Tardius, however you say that mascara, a Lash Sensational, uh, this. Wet n Wild Lash Primer that I hardly ever use, a L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, 
And then I think these are samples that I got in Ipsy, the Fully Charged Pure Superhero uh, by It Cosmetics, and then a Colossal Big Shot Mascara by, what is that, Maybelline. And then the next drawer, I don't really want to get too much into this because this is mostly just like lashes, but I mean I got some Kiss Lashes, I have some Ardell Wispies that are my favorite ever. I probably should throw that top pair away. Um, and then these, uh, these are the new Elf Lux ones. These are so good in the band. I don't know if you guys can tell. They're really thick and they stay on really well. I'm actually wearing another pair today. It's a different style, but, um, so I have that, those, um, lashes. I have a eyelash curler. The only eyelash glue that I found that doesn't irritate my eyes as much is the Tardiest Pro Lash Glue, and I have it in clear and black. I have a tiny pair of scissors to cut the lashes if they're too long. And then another contraption that I really, really suggest you guys get um, if you wear false lashes is these little tweezers. I think it's a little bit safer than using like a pair of short not short what am I trying to say I'm using like a pair of like sharper tweezers so this just kind of grabs onto your lash really well and then helps you apply it really easy have, oh, let's just pull this up this is blush and bronzer so I have the two original shades of the butter bronzer which is my favorite bronzer so this is the light one and this is the original regular bronzer um and then I don't really like this, but this was in a uh, boxy charm and it's just like another bronzer. I think those are the only bronzers I have. The rest is blush. Okay. So I have this, uh, Tarte blush that I got in the birthday thing. I think it's called party. Yeah, whatever. Um, then I have a butter blush. I think this is like the plum rose. Pretty cool love that one and then this one I haven't used in a really long time it's just like an elf primer elf primer elf blush and then a Milani uh, powder rose blush this is in romantic rose this is like one of my favorite blushes I just got this the for the first time if y'all can believe it the Milani luminoso I like this so far and I got an LA girl oh, uh, just blushing and just playful this is kind of like a mauve blush have a wet and wild ombre blush and then a wet and wild color icon in pearlescent pink and then the last one I think this is one I also got in a boxy charm it is luminous loose loose blush I hardly ever use this but I ha when I do use it it is really pretty this next drawer is like sorry I gotta move all my sponges is the best drawer of all. I'm not sure why I have it on the bottom, but this is my highlighting drawer. Um, I kind of have it in order of like popularity of when I use it. Uh, so this one I probably use the least. I think I also got this in a boxy charm, just a shimmering liquid Becca highlighter and Prosecco pop. I just, I don't use liquid highlighters very much because I always apply powder and never really cream anything. And I feel like my powder covers it up. So same thing with this. I got this for Christmas. I think my mom, my stepmom got this for me. I don't know. Probably be good for eyeshadow, honestly. Uh, I got this Flexitarian ColourPop high, um, Super Shock eyeshadow. This one is really pretty, especially when you're really fair. This is a Physician's Formula Butter Blush, but this really isn't a blush to me. It's more of a highlight. I really don't see how this could be a blush for like literally anybody. So, but anyway, that's what that is. Uh, I got these, uh, I have two of these. They're the NYX Duochrome. I have Snow Rose and Twilight Tint. These are both really good. I just tried this one again today. I haven't worn it in a while. And I forgot how much I love them. They're so beautiful. And then I also have the e.l.f. Um, baked highlighter. Which one is this? Moonlit Pearls? Yeah. Uh, this one's really pretty. This one also, um, this is just another one I got in a boxy charm. Ooh, let me open it. It looks really pink. Doesn't really apply very pink to the skin. It's very pretty. What is it? Rose gold. 
Another, well, speaking of rose gold, this highlighter is the bomb diggity. I probably use this more than any other highlighter that I have right now. Granted, I did just get it like two months ago, but I love it so much. And then another highlighter I'm obsessed with. I'm not sure if you can tell. I have, these are my Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighters. I basically have every color that they came out with except for the um, something canopy. I don't know. It's too dark for my skin tone. So I ended up giving it to my sister who's a lot more tan than I am. So I just have these. This one I don't really recommend. Um, it's really glittery and honestly I only wore this to Warped Tour last year and I think that's the only time I've ever worn this. But they're all really good except for I just don't that one's not super great and then this one's really not that great either I bought this thinking it was gonna be like these and gold is one of my favorite colors to wear for highlight and this just didn't really show up the way that I thought it was gonna show up and then this last thing is a little sample from Laura Geller I want to say it's like diamond dust man I have a good memory I haven't worn this one in forever uh, but yeah right along to this area so I have this little dish that has like hairpins and whatnot in it and then I have sorry this is so dirty right now because I just used it um, with this little holder to hold my beauty blender and then I have two other ones that I'm not really sure what to do with yet so they just kind of hang out ah, they won't roll off over here and um, then I have two well I have four powders so I have two Cody air spines they're both um, different colors so I have the the translucent one and then I have like a neutral one that like matches my skin tone but it's not translucent like the translucent one so I have those and then I have this LA girl pro powder in the banana shade and then I have this is my I swear it's my favorite powder ever I think this is one of the first high-end products I ended up buying but it's the Too Faced peach perfect uh, mattifying matte powder this stuff smells so good, tastes really good. Not that I eat it, but I know everybody says that. And then um, I just have like my face brushes, my eye brushes, and then we get over here and I have all of these lipsticks. See, I have, honestly, like these are a lot of lipsticks that I don't really wear even though for whatever reason I have them front and center of my lipstick collection. Um, but I just have like Essence, Rimmel, this one is Kat Von D. I ended up getting that TJ Maxx. Uh, these are actually my Stila um, glitter and glows. Oh, let me knock everything down. Um, so you got a couple NYX things. And then this is really, actually really good. This is the L'Oreal. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the... It's not like a gloss, but it's not like a lipstick. It's kind of like in between. That's really good. I have my liquid cat suits that I really like. I did have the entire collection with the exception of like a couple colors and this is what I ended up with after I got rid of a bunch of them. Um, I have all these Maybelline lipsticks. I think most of them are the matte ones. I think I have like a couple shimmer ones but um, these I love this lipstick formula. This uh, these back here are the ColourPop um, the matte ones I do not particularly like these however I do like the colors and then I have the tardiest lip paint um, I think I got this once again and a boxy charm and I just don't really care for this color too much but I do layer it on top of stuff sometimes and this does happen all the time so I should probably get a better system and this is just what I have right now all right, and then over here I have this little, this is honestly, this is a shot glass, but this has like Q-tips and um, some hair clips that I use to thin my hair back whenever I'm doing my makeup. And then I have my um, more liquid lipstick collection. Uh, this I ended up getting recently before, I had this before, just this. And then all of this was in there and they would fall over all the time and that's why I ended up purchasing this but even this still doesn't have enough room to house all of my liquid lipsticks um but i this this is one of my favorite lipstick formulas is the superstay matte ink uh by maybelline they just came out with the a nude collection this is like my favorite color ever what color is it it's like seduct something i don't 
don't know. But anyway, that's really good too. Don't really wear this very much, but it's the Vivid Hot Lacquer um, Flower Beauty one, Stila. They're all just between like more a high end and drugstore. I tend to lean more towards drugstore uh, personally, but um, I do end up with high end stuff sometimes. I have like I have these Lorac Pro um, liquid lipsticks that I got for Christmas. Uh, another one that ended up in a boxy charm. Same with this one. Oh, this is the uh, liquid suede by NYX in the shade soft spoken. That's supposed to be a dupe for um, one of Kat Von D's ones. I forget what it's called. Um, I think Lolita. I think it's a dupe for that. Um, this I got in a boxy charm or Ipsy, and then the rest of this is mostly ColourPop, except for this, um, the Anastasia in Ashton, and then an Urban Decay Vice uh, gloss that I don't really wear by ColourPop. I think it was in the uh, Laura Lee No Kill LA one. I just have like various colors of ColourPop. I really enjoy the ColourPop satin finish so that's basically what these five are and I really do plan to get more but that's just what I have right now and over here I just have my little mirror that I move whenever I want to have a closer look at my makeup and then I have this cute little thing that I actually ended up buying at uh, when I was in Waco at this uh, it was kind of like the Magnolia market but it was I don't know anyway I bought this for cookbooks but I ended up not needing it right away because I ended up moving in with my grandma so I don't need this for cookbooks right now so I use it for my palettes but I might just end up using it for my palettes anyway um, but I have my Shade and Light palette, the Jaclyn Hill palette, uh, an old Morphe palette, I think this is the coffee palette and then um, the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette which these are kind of in order of how I use them. I don't really use this one very much so but it's smaller than this one so that's why it's in front and then um I'll kind of move over here this is a cart that well I did have one of those Rascog ones from Ikea but my mom ended up stealing it from me and so she got me another one this is one's from Michael's and this has like all of my foundation and this also has like um, hair care and like some miscellaneous things um, just because I have this acetate thing in here that I don't really know what to do with I just kind of use it to organize most of my stuff sorry for the nose sniffle so um I really just kind of want to talk about the makeup stuff that I have in here though so I have like two eye eyeshadow primers uh Kat Von D I don't even know what that's called uh Too Faced uh, shadow insurance. These are a little too dark for me right now. That's the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus and then the Fit Me. They're just a little too um, dark there because it's the winter still. Um, and then I have Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline Illuminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. Master Prime by Maybelline and then the No Pore Balloon Primer. I don't know if y'all have tried this or seen it before. It's on Amazon and it's really, it's good. I like it. It's not my absolute favorite, but you can get it on Amazon. And then foundations. Let's see. So once again, mostly drugstore. So I have the uh, Dream Liquid Mousse. And honestly, if I'm being completely honest, a lot of these are too dark for me because I'm literally, I'm so pale. So I have this white um, LA girl foundation and it I'm literally able to add this to any of my foundations and make them more my skin tone which is really nice so but anyway so I have the dream liquid mousse and fit me matte and poreless wet and wild photo focus Milani conceal and perfect um, this Clinique Beyond Perfecting one is nice. I'm wearing that today. Oh, this, I love this. This is the Superstay Maybelline uh, Full Coverage Foundation. It's the LA Girl one. And then this Total Coverage by uh, L'Oreal. Uh, Dream Velvet by Maybelline. And then the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows. And then a Fenty Foundation. And then I have... 
this is all setting spray right here. So I have two different scents of the Mario Badesco facial spray. This is the rose water and then the lavender, which the lavender one is my favorite right now. Uh, cover effects, uh, illuminating setting spray. I have both of the wet and wild ones, uh, the natural finish and the matte finish. And then the Milani Make It Last setting spray, which this, honestly, I would say this is my favorite setting spray, even though I go through it so fast and it's just so hard for me to spend 10 bucks on something that I buy like literally every other week. All right, and then down here on the second level of this little thing is this, it's a mail organizer and I originally bought this to house my palettes but it just didn't display them the way that I wanted to so I basically just use this to house palettes that I have that I just don't really use that often uh, so my Nana just gave me this one to try it's the it Cosmetics um, Age Defying Trio and then we got the um, goodness, the blush trio we got it that in a boxy charm most of the things the palettes I get are boxy charm like this one the uh, bronze and brighten and then um, this I actually quite like. I don't use it as often. I'll probably use it more once I run out of all my shade and light stuff. But this is a good contour uh, palette in comparison to the shade and light. I really don't feel like it's as pigmented as the shade and light palette. So if you're really fair, um, this honestly works really well because I'm so fair. Um, I can use the darkest shade and it doesn't make it look like I put a really harsh line on my face. That's really nice. Oh, this random brush is here because, weirdly enough, my dog likes makeup brushes being rubbed on her face. So this is one of the first makeup brushes I've ever had in my entire life. And um, I was going to throw it away, but she just loves it so much. So I just keep it here because she normally sits in the chair that I'm sitting in right now. And then um, this is also another Profusion palette. Uh, I got this at the same time as the contour palette I got them at Target during Christmas. And this is also a really good highlighting palette. It's just really messy, as I'm sure you can see. And then lastly in this thing that I want to talk about is the, a, uh, the Aurora Anastasia palette. I really feel like I got pressured into buying this and I don't really like it too much. I think I like only a couple of shades in in this so I don't really reach for this palette very often it is very chunky it's very glittery and I know that I've seen this at TJ Maxx recently so I'm glad I got this on sale because I would be really pissed if I paid 40 bucks for this and then to see it at TJ Maxx for like 25 bucks I would probably cry um and then I just have like hairspray and all that stuff and then down here is just like straightener blow dryer curling iron hair hair stuff I do have three drawers in this desk, which I bought this desk. Well, I didn't buy this desk. I got it for Christmas, but uh, I got this desk because of this is I wanted to use it for makeup. And unfortunately, like two of the drawers that I have, they don't have any makeup in them. They're mostly like junk drawers right now. But this is the only one that I really wanted to talk about because it has um, just some like miscellaneous other things that I reach for more often than I do with those palettes over there. Um, so this is another one that I got in a boxy charm. I use this palette for like one of my everyday uh, makeup looks just because it's really neutral. I do a lot of transition if I just want to do transition shades and like a light shimmer on there. I'll use that. Uh, two Anastasia individual eyeshadows that I got at TJ Maxx. Um, these are, there's two of these. Uh, two bare mineral like loose pigments that I don't really use. I just got those for Christmas and then another palette that Got in a boxy charm that I haven't quite played with too much yet um, But I do like the pigment on this. This is really nice And this is where I keep my makeup wipes and then I have these jars here, which I'm sure I'll use for something but Yeah, guys, that's pretty much my makeup collection that I have right now um, in the beginning of 2018, I feel like I'm going to add so much more stuff to it. Uh, and maybe my setup will change. I hope I can get something set up where I have more like a studio looking kind of thing. I have a ring light and I would like to be able to set that up somewhere and uh, potentially have a backdrop, but I just don't have that right now. Um, but anyway, that's just kind of what I got going on right now. Um, if you liked this video, if you could give it a good thumbs up and then also subscribe to my channel. I do have more stuff coming that I plan on doing. Fingers crossed. I've been kind of MIA. 
um, just because I was moving and it was really crazy and I was also so, uh, I feel like that's a story for another video just because my life has been a little crazy in the last uh, couple months. Um, but anyway, uh, if y'all stuck around, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.